time evolves and comes to a place where it renews again. There is first a purification time, then there is renewal time. We are getting very close to this time now. We were told that we would see America come and go. And in a sense, America is dying from within because they forgot the instructions on how to live on earth. Everything is coming to a time where prophecy and man's inability to live on earth in a spiritual way will come to a crossroad of great problems. It's the Hopi belief, it's our belief that if you're not spiritually connected to the earth and understand the spiritual reality of how to live on earth, it's likely you will not make it. When Columbus came, that began what we term as the First World War. That was the true First World War when Columbus arrived. Because along with him came everybody from Europe. By the end of the Second World War, we were, in America, we were only 800,000 from 60 million to 800,000. So we were almost exterminated here in America. Everything is spiritual. Everything has a spirit. Everything, everything was brought to you by the creator, the one creator. Some people call him God. Some people call him Buddha, some people call him Allah, some people call him other names. We call him Tonkashila, grandfather. We're here on earth only a few winters. Then we go to the spirit world. The spirit world is, is more real than most of us believe. Spirit world is, is everything. Over 95% of our body is water. And in order to stay healthy, you've got to drink good water. When the European first came here, Columbus, we could drink out of any river. If the Europeans had lived the Indian way when they came, we'd still be drinking out of water because water is sacred. The air is sacred. Our DNA is made of the same DNA as the tree. The tree breathes what we exhale. When the tree exhales, we need what the tree exhales. So we have a common destiny with the tree. We are all from the earth. And when the earth, the water, the atmosphere is corrupted, then it will create its own reaction. Mother is reacting. In the Hopi prophecy, they say the storms and floods will become greater. To me, it's not a negative thing to know that there will be great changes. It's not negative. It's evolution. When you look at it as evolution, it's time. Nothing stays the same. You should learn how to plant something. That's the first connection. You should treat all things as spirit. Realize that we are one family. 